Simple Cafe E Illustrated Tutorials for Your Electronics. Hey, welcome back. In this one, we're going to see how to connect your TV's optical audio to your sound system via RCA inputs. The solution is the same if instead of RCA, you're dealing with aux. Point being, there's no way that this is going to go in here. So what are we going to do about it? I was hoping to find an optical to RCA cable. Sadly though, those don't exist. You see, this job requires a little more work than that. Now don't worry, not more work for you. Just leave it all up to this little device known as the digital to analog converter. As the name tells us, it'll take your TV's digital sound signal and basically translate it to analog, the language of RCA. We're about to see how simple it is to set up for great sound, but first, there's one critical thing to keep an eye out for when you go searching for yours. Yep, because there are various types of converters, you want to make sure to get the right one. That way, you don't waste precious time and money. What I'm talking about is simple, but rather important. You've probably noticed that these converters have two sides. One side for input and the other for output. And here's the key. Just make sure that on the input side, you see an entry port for optical toslink. This way, it'll receive the audio from your TV via the optical side and now on the output side, send it out to your sound system via any of the available ports. Of course, get yourself one with an RCA port. But if you end up with one that only has an aux port, not all is lost if you have one of these aux to RCA cables. These always come in handy. Find one in the description. Now then, let's see how to get set up. It's pretty simple, and at the end of the video, I'll show you where you can get more help if you need it. First things first, please be aware that these converters require a power source, so be sure not to get one that doesn't have a way to power up. Next, you'll plug your optical cable from your TV into the converter's toslink port on the input side. Now it's receiving your TV's digital signal and automatically converting it to analog. So go on and plug your sound system into the output side, red to red for your right audio, white to white for your left audio, and that's it. Now just go on and turn everything on to enjoy. Now don't worry if you don't hear your speakers right away. Many TVs need you to go into the audio settings to select external speakers. And here's the extra help I mentioned earlier. It's a playlist that helps you through your TV's menus to select external speakers. One video for each brand because they're all different. All this stuff can get complicated at times. That's why I encourage you to explore my channel for some help or just subscribe. That way, the next time you're looking for a tutorial, my videos are more likely to appear toward the top of your search results. Thanks for watching and good luck.